for the off-campus representatives. I'd like to remind you that if you want to ask questions of the candidates, there's paper and pencils in the back. Bring your questions up to me. Um, we will give each candidate one minute for their opening statement. And since there's so many up here, I'm going to let you all introduce yourselves. So we'll start with you. Hi, my name is Kathleen Miner. I'm running with OPP as an off-campus representative. I am a transfer student, and I'm majoring in sociology as well as a minor in sports management. Um, I have several much experience at my prior my prior community college with um, several organizations, Association of Latin American Students, Justice Coalition, um, several environmental groups. But I also feel that the issues that affect students most is what should be focused on for AS. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Gabriella Murillo, and I'm running for off-campus rep and um, running for Students Party. I would just like to say that um, what I am all for is for the fight against fee increases, making housing more affordable in IV, bettering the lives in IV, and um, basically just um, promoting you know fiscal transparency and making this diverse campus more um, more better and um, just yeah, both students partying. Hi, my name is Pratish Patel. Uh, I'm running for off-campus rep with uh, Students Party, of course. Um, I have been in leadership like my entire life. Um, I've been involved with ASB throughout high school and middle school, taking on leadership opportunities here at Santa Barbara. I'm uh, the Multicultural Awareness Chair for Santa Rosa Residence Hall. Um, it's amazing. I really have a passion for what I do, and I really just love being out here. And um, one of the major things I'd like to see change is um, there's over there's hundreds and hundreds of organizations on campus, and um, they're everyone's very diverse. I mean, people say we don't have a diverse community, but there's all sorts of people here, and I think it's something that we need to embrace. And I would love to see uh, a coalition between presidents next year, maybe possibly uh, get out presidents meetings and um, make them all like come together and possibly plan events and whatnot. But anyway, we'll go into further detail later. Uh, British Patel, both students party. My name is Matthew Sell. I'm running for uh, off-campus rep with the Squirrel Party. Um, I am a third-year student, and uh, one of the main, one of my main platforms is branching out to the community. I think that as off-campus rep, I can really bring our community, our outside community, to our campus, and really encourage students to branch out to the community. We learn a lot here at UCSB, and one of the one of the main things that we can do with all this knowledge that we have gained through UCSB is to branch out to our community and get all of everybody else involved because our community is what overall influences our UCSB campus. Vote Cell, vote Squirrel. Hello, my name is Zach Skegan. I'm sorry, one second. Okay, my name is Zach Skegan. I'm with the Open People's Party and I am running for off-campus representative. I am a second year Middle Eastern Studies major. Uh, I came here as a political science major and then transferred over. Uh, I have lived in Ista since my first year at UCSB. Um, I've been involved in leadership since before I was in high school, but I was on the ASB in high school. I served as the chief of staff to the AS president last year. Uh, I was the chairman of the AS Technology Committee. I was in high school a member of the ACLU's Youth Activist Committee for Northern California, where I helped put on teach-ins and led um, events about your rights with the police and other students' rights at school. And I hope to continue to fight for those rights and for all matters that affect the student community here at UCSB. Thank you. Vote OPP. Hi, my name is Paula Reaver, and I'm running with Students Party. And currently, I'm involved in um, Cap Capaganla, as well as I'm uh, very involved with FT North Hall Council. And my goal is to increase um, fiscal transparency and make UCSB um, a 
bigger community and make students realize that they have all this money with the Students Initiative and we want them to take it and we want to make this campus theirs. And that's what we're here for and we um, represent that. We want students to really make UCSB their home while they're here. And I'm Paula Reaver and I'm running with Students Party. Hi everybody, I'm Cece Yui and I'm a third year biology major. I'm running with the Open People's Party and um, I could sit here and name off all my leadership experience, but just know that I'm qualified and I'm ready to represent the students. What I'm, I'm really running for AS because I want to bridge the gap between AS and the students in IV because they, honestly, it's a huge separation and I just want to be the liaison between them and what I'm looking forward to if I'm elected is I want to increase involvement with the students in AS and I want to do that by increasing awareness and their interest and I feel like if students are involved they care more about the issues at hand and so I really want to um, represent the students and I'm just here for them so yeah thanks <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Matthew Weisner and I'm running the Students Party and uh, I'm a second year political science major and um, my involvement on campus with voter registration in the past and writing for the Daily Nexus, um, one of my main interests is educating the rest of the student population both on campus and IV um, about issues that really apply to us all, um, particularly like tenants rights. A lot of the articles uh, you guys might have read in the Nexus about um, the conquest evictions and um, the protests and stuff like that I wrote and it's really important to me to educate the student population about these issues because they really apply to all of us and I really hope to see um, in my tenure on AS uh, just cause evictions ordinance passed as well as um, fighting the fee increases and lowering the educational fees for all students because those are really major issues that apply to all of us. Teresa Vargas, and I'm a second year women's studies major. I'm currently involved in what is Congreso and Mujer um, experience. Well, to be honest, I started out school not very involved, but just being here at UCSB and seeing all the organizations and all the things our campus does, it's encouraged me to want to be an off-campus rep and represent our community and made me realize all the all the issues and all the concerns our community and school has. So the reason why I'm running is just basically to represent our community and try my best. Um, and another issue that I would really want to um, encourage and working with is obviously the tuition, I mean educational fees, and um, just creating a student coalition, which I think Students Party is doing a great job doing. So vote for me off campus rep. <laughs> Okay, each candidate will be given 30 seconds to answer the questions, and I will start with Gabriella. If you could change one thing about AS, what would it be and why? Um, if I could change one thing about AS, um, I would change it for change it for the better, enhance it. Um, AS has a lot of ideals right now that we can um, continue working with. Um, more ideals such as um, like putting out um, more, um, making it more visible for other students to see that we are working towards the, against the fee hikes and against um, educational fees that are affecting every single student here. Um, so basically with AS, um, I just enhance it. AS is working very, very hard to make um, students uh, have a good student, um, have a good education here at UCSB. Uh, Pratish Patel again, Students Party. Um, if I could change AS, um, I would definitely want to enhance their reputation. Um, AS, I know it's a wonderful program and many people don't know about it. I think that people need to be informed on uh, what, we need, what we have to offer and I think that electing Students Party and myself, of course, um, we could really bring that um, to our community and just like basically 
making sure that everyone on this campus knows what AS can do for them. It's not what we can or what they can do for us, but what we can do for them. And I think that that really needs to be emphasized. So that's what I would do. Students party. Daniel Plotkin, Open People's Party. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming here, first off. Uh, if there was one thing I could change with AS, it would definitely be the uh, partisan politics that, that may have hindered AS's ability to function this past year. Uh, we all are members of UCSB, and even though right now we are split Students Party and Open People's Party, once the election is over, we are, we're just members of this school. And once we're in AS, I think we need to, to get rid of this partisan politics, this idea of we're different parties, we're different people, because we're not. We're just gauchos. That's all that matters. Thank you. Matt Sell, Squirrel Party. Um, I think the one thing that we need to change on AS would probably be to create a more diverse student council because I think that having a more diverse student council will create more, um, will get more students involved that are all over our campus. We have a hugely, widely diverse campus and I think we need to put that in our AS Council. By getting that in our AS Council, we can get every student's need incorporated into, our, into the UC system. And that is what is going to be one of my main goals. Thank you. School party. Zach Skegan, Open People's Party. <clears throat> if I was going to change one thing about the AS, I would probably make it more efficient, if I was going to use a term for lack of a better word. It seems to me that from my experience with AS, much time is spent on issues that do not directly affect the student body. And if I am elected, I would work with all my might to work for issues that directly affected our community, our students, and those that issues that affected us most. Thank you. Vote OPP. Once again, I'm Paula with Students Party, and one thing that I would change about AS is letting people know what it is, because when I told my friends that I was running, they were like, what's that? And frankly, that's just sad, because this is, we are here for them. There is so much, like I said before, there's so much money, there's so much availability, whether it's working with the Nexus, whether it's working with RHA, we need to increase awareness of what AS can do for the students. And that's what Students Party is all about, so about Students Party. Hi, I'm Cece Yui again, running with OPP for Off Campus Rep, and I think I agree with my opponent, and, or peer, and I agree that nobody knows what AS is doing, and I think part of the problem with that is that right now it's focused more on a statewide and national level, and we need to bring it back to campus. We need to bring it back to our community so that they can see direct changes and know that we're working for them. And so that's what I want to do, and this is why I'm running. So vote OPP, vote CC. Thanks. Hi, my name is Matt Weiser with Students Party. And I think something we can really improve with AS is uh, more than just the communication between the student body and the student government is where the fees are going. I think students should really know and be able to see um, how their money is being spent. And if it's being spent in a manner that's responsible, I think it is, I think it will be. Um, this is a real top priority for Students Party, and I'm looking forward to having good communication with the student body about our fiscal use. Thank you. Hi, my name is Teresa Vargas, and once again, I'm running for Students Party. Um, I agree with everybody here. Um, I, believe, I think Students Party has done a great job last year with AS, however, um, I would also like to enhance the reputation of this group and awareness because still, even though I'm up here, um, I'm still learning and I'm hoping to learn even more. So just I want to be able to use this this AS group to um, bring everybody together from all the organizations so we could work together as a group and make change for school, for the community and for UCSB students. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kathleen Miner. I'm running with OPP. Um, I would have to say that the one thing that I would like to change within associate students is the fact that um, just the presence on campus. This is something that has been mentioned before, but the fact that associate students 
we are representing the students. I think that's something that needs to be kept in mind with every decision that is made. Um, getting out there, having open forums so that students can have a say, and um, especially student-sponsored bills. I think that's something um, really getting the students' voice out there. Thank you, Kathleen Minor, OPP. This question is directed at each of the candidates, and I'll start with Pratish. What do you feel is the single most important issue facing students who live off campus, and what solutions, if any, do you propose to resolve it? Um, there are multiple, multiple problems that are going on in IB right now. Um, I definitely think that working with Isla uh, Vista Tennis Union is uh, one of the major things that we can do. Um, we need to ensure that they have their rights and their rights are protected. And for each and every person out there, um, I really think that we need to emphasize the fact that they have certain rights and that they can, they need to like apply, that they can apply them at any time and point and we can really bring that out to them. And so I think that's the major point. But yeah, vote soon, Sparty, Pratish. Once again, Daniel Plock and Open People's Party. While I agree that the tenants unit union issue is a problem. I feel that there's a more pressing issue at hand. That definitely has to do with Halloween. I think that if the Associated Students is going to represent the students, the tenants are not kicking out UCSB students, but what the state, or I'm sorry, what the community, what Santa Barbara County is trying to do is get rid of Halloween. They're trying to get rid of our reputation. And we need to stand together and say that if you want to take away our Halloween, you're going to have to get past the students. I think that is a very important issue that most students here at UCSB want and demand to continue having. Thank you. Matt Stell, Squirrel Party. Uh, what I think is the uh, one of the most important, as Pratish already mentioned, is the Isla Vista Tennis Union. I think that we need to get more students involved in that. We need to get more students off campus involved in what is going on with, uh, with the different groups that are um, off campus. If we can get that, we can hear more of their students' voice and we can get exactly what we need to accomplish here at AS. Matt Sell, Squirrel Party. Zach Skegan, Open People's Party. In a word, safety. Safety does not, however, mean mere security from the threat of robbery, of being groped while partying. It is the safety from being evicted unfairly and unjustly. It is the safety that comes with a good, well-lit community of streetlights, sidewalks. It's safety from harassment from the police and infringement upon our rights. It is a very important issue that affects all of us. There are many other issues, but this is our more impost, most important one. Thank you, vote OPP. Once again, I'm Paula with Students Party, and I agree that all of these issues need to be taken care of, and I think that the way that we can do this is by making Isla Vista its own town, so that we can, or its own city, so that we have access to representatives who can fix problems with Halloween, who can make just cause ordinances for people that live in Isla Vista. We need to especially work with the Isla Vista Tenants Union, Lindsay Clark, who's on our slate. She is, has been most involved with this, and she's even running unopposed because she's hands down the best person for this job. And so what I think that we really really need to do is make Isla Vista its own town so that we can control our own fate. Hi, I'm Cece again, and I'm running, running with OPP. Um, there are so many issues facing students in IV on a daily basis, and every issue is important to someone out there. And what I want to do, I want to increase the awareness of the IV students' knowledge of AS so that they can utilize that and do something about what they're passionate about. Um, and I want to be here and be that voice for them. So I think I don't want to choose a single issue to, art, like, to talk about because I think it's all important because it's all important to students out there. And so my name is Cece for OPP. My name is Matthew Weisner, and um, although I think uh, the right to party on Halloween is important, I would say that um, <laughs> the right of students and community members to know their rights as tenants and be respected as tenants is uh, would far surpass that. I think um, we need to work with IVTU, um, pass a just cause ordinance, and the way that students are kind of in and out of here in four years, I think a lot of landlords think they can take advantage of students because they're not educated on what their rights are as tenants, and that's something that has to change. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Teresa Vargas and I'm running a student's party. 
I also believe that IV should become a cityhood, like, so that we could have representation on the county and changes could be made. There's many, th like, this, the whole um, Conquest building has really affected many of the families who work for our for our school. So I think um, most of the, one of the most important issues is definitely making um, Isla Vista a recognized by the city so we can make changes for the, our community. Hello, Kathleen Miner with OPP. Um, I would have to say that the single most important issue affecting off-campus students is um, probably police accountability. I know there have been several issues with Isla Vista Foot Patrol um, stepping over their bounds. Um, I think that's something that definitely needs to, we need to work with associate students and have a better relationship with them so the off-campus students can be better protected. Also, safety in Isla Vista, this has already been mentioned, but um, just making sure that people can get to and from where they're going in a safe manner. Um, and also parental notification. Um, and I've got the stop sign, but Kathleen Miner for OPP. Thank you. Hi everyone, Gabriella for Students Party. Um, what I would say is uh, an important thing for off campus um, would have to be the relationship between uh, landlords and the students because the students do live here in IV and it is very important for the students to have a good time living here in IV. That means no worries with um, issues that landlords do bring up. So um, by working with the IV um, Tenants Union um, next year and just making, trying to make um, students living here and off campus in IV um, less stressful by um, by working towards um, bettering the relationship between their landlords. So vote students party. This question is directed at all of the candidates and we'll start with Dan. Talk about one bill that the Legislative Council passed this year and what your feelings are about it. Thank you. Um, I actually was just writing notes down about something along these lines, and it has to do with the Oaxaca, Mexico bill that was passed. While I would agree that this is a very important topic, it, topic Paula just said actually about 1225, that was 10 minutes ago, that she wants to show the kids and affect the kids on this campus and show them what AS does. We just talked about things like town, safety, tenant issues, things that directly affect people on this campus today, tomorrow, next year, and the year after. And while Oaxaca, Mexico might seem like an important issue, the money, the resources, and the time we spend in AS should directly affect students on this campus. Thank you. Matthew Sell, Squirrel Party. Um, what I would like to talk about is the Legislative Council passing of the freezing of the assets of the Daily Nexus. I think that I agree with um, Jared's decision to veto that bill because I do not believe that um, free speech should be taken should be taken away from students. Students are here on this campus to be free and to be um, discussing what they want to discuss. And I think that freezing the assets of Daily Nexus was a bad decision on the Legislative Council's part. I understand where they were coming on that issue, but to get the overall opinion of all the students, it needs to be um, it needs to stay free. Zach Skegan with the Open People's Party. I would like to echo Matthew's uh, sentiments as far as the freezing of the assets of the Daily Nexus. I believe that a free press is essential to any civilized society and that the, the freezing of assets because you do not like the company that pays the bills of that paper is against the very beliefs that our country was founded upon. I believe that while it is an important issue, as a neighbor of the Conquest student of the Cedarwood apartment building, I live right next door to it. I know how important those evictions have been to those families, but I also realize how important free speech is and the need to preserve that speech. Thank you. Vote Zach Skegan and the Open People's Party. Once again, I'm Paula Reaver with the Students' Party, and um, I would also like to talk about the Daily Nexus freeze or the freezing of the funds for the Daily Nexus. And I agree that um, the free speech definitely trumps um, what 
what the um, AS was trying to do, but I also think that the AS that AS was trying to represent its um, its community, and Isla Vista is a huge part of our community, and so by trying to show support for these families, like they're an integral part of the community in Isla Vista, and so while I do believe that free speech is definitely important, I feel that what AS was trying to accomplish by supporting these families um, was definitely well-intentioned. Hi, I'm Cece again, running with OPP, and I'm again going to talk about the Daily Nexus because it, it is such an important issue. Um, I do not agree with the Legislative Council's decision to freeze the funds. However, I do believe that the Conquest housing fiasco was is really important to students in Isla Vista. I just think that free speech, you cannot take that away from the students, and there's other ways to handle the situation going on. Um, this is why we support the Just Cause Ordinance, which is um, so that the tenants, I got the stop sign, but yeah, thanks. Free press is good. <laughs> I'm Matt Weiser with Students Party, and I'd like to reiterate that I also agree that um, Free speech is important, and the Daily Nexus as an independent entity um, is something we need to preserve. And also that the intentions of AS during um, when the Ledge Council passed that resolution to um, withhold the funding for the Nexus was well-intentioned, and that um, although it was although it was vetoed, um, I think we need to really preserve that um, free speech with the Nexus. Thank you. My name is Teresa Vargas, and once again, I'm running for Students' Party. Like everybody has said, um, freezing the the Nexus budget was not a great thing to do. However, I think um, due to the, to the issue of like freedom of speech, of course, we could all do what we could all speak as we please. However, um, I think AS doing this was great because somebody needed to support these families, and if it wasn't if boycotting wasn't enough, then maybe by Doing this, it showed some show that AS is and does care about our community. So I think it was a, a great effort to help the community. Kathleen Miner with Open People's Party. Um, I would have to say that I think associate students and the bills that they have passed, a lot of them have been very good. Um, I would have to say, though, on certain issues, the Daily Nexus, which has already been talked about, a big issue. Um, Oaxaca, another big issue. I specifically want to talk about the war in Iraq, the bill that basically um, it, it shut down, um, all canceled all activities planned, harming many student groups in the process. Um, I think that is it. We should take um, all students' opinions into consideration when passing a bill. Kathleen Miner for OPP. Thank you. Hi, Gabriella for um, Students Party. Um, just as everyone um, as, uh, had said for the Daily Nexus, um, I do agree with um, ASN um, freezing um, the, uh, the, the fees and um, but I would like to say that it does show that it, AS is concerned with um, the students, not only the students, but long-term students, I mean long-term residents um, here in Ivy. So um, I would like to agree with that. Um, yeah, thank you. Pratish Patel, uh, Students Party. Um, I'd like to start off by saying that the Daily Nexus, uh, that was definitely like a huge ordeal here on campus. Um, I think it got a little blown out of proportion. Um, I know that there was, there was boycotting going on and there was lots of like regulations and rules that AS had thought that they were dealing with, but um, it got very complicated and I think that everything that people are hearing is very skewed. Um, I also would like to reiterate the fact that I think when passing bills on AS next year, I think that um, abstaining is like a big thing that we're talking about and that everyone has a vote and I think that we need to utilize that vote and make sure that everyone, like the people's voices are uh, opinionated. So, Students Party, Pratisha Patel. This question is directed at each candidate and we'll start with Matt. Matt, the squirrel party, not the other one. Um, if you had the attention of the entire student body for five minutes, what would you say to them? And give, please give us your 30-second version. <laughs> 
Matt Sell Squirrel Party. I would just like to say uh, what kind of the Squirrel Party is about. I would just let them know that we are interested in hearing the voice of all students, not just kind of the students who are kind of around. I wanted to make myself accessible to each and every student that happens to have a voice here on campus. A lot of voices aren't heard, and they kind of want to be heard, but they don't really know where to go about that. I want to make sure it's known that we want to hear what your thoughts are, and we're interested in your views, and we want to incorporate that into our UC system and make it great. Matt Sell Squirrel Party. Zach Skegan with the Open People's Party. If I had the attention of the student body for five minutes, I would encourage them to get involved, whether that meant joining the associate students, joining a club, paying more attention in class, anything. I would encourage them to take an active role in their four years or more at UCSB and make the best of it. We're told that this is the best time of our lives. If that's true, then we should be doing something beneficial with it. Thank you. Vote OPP. Once again, I'm Paula with the Students' Party. And if I had the attention of the entire student body, I would just reiterate what I've said 100 times here already today, is that this is your school. This is your community. We are here for you. This is your money. We are here to represent what you want. We want to see, we want to see that, you, that the best four years of your life that are spent well, that we can do what we can make this the best possible place for you and that explain what AS is first of all and that it's here for them and that we have all this money for their resources. Thank you. Vote Students Party. Hi, I'm Cece again running with OPP and if I had the attention of the student body for five minutes I would educate them on what AS is all about and the potential it has to make great changes in our community. Um, I know I really had no idea until I read that article in the Nexus that OPP ha was having a meeting and that people should come up and run. And once I attended that meeting, I got all the information I needed and now I'm ready, I'm here to expand this knowledge to everybody and get them involved because people do already care about this campus. They already care about their community. And so AS, their involvement in AS is how to change it, so vote OPP. Hi again, my name is Matt Weisner with Students Party, and if I had the attention of the student body for five minutes, um, I would encourage them and talk to them about ways in which they can fight the fee increase as individuals and as a student body. I think um, AS has a lot of power to lobby. I think uh, registering voters and getting people out to vote is another way to do it, and I would encourage them to rally together, um, not just for that issue, but for other issues that uh, they care about as a student body and as groups. Um, I think they need to have their voice heard. Thank you. Hi, I'm in Mr. Savagas, and I'm running for Students' Party. Um, well, what I would, what I would tell the audience is definitely what AES is all about. Inform them that as um, a, a student, we are here for them. We are here to work together and encourage them, obviously, to get involved. But also tell them that. Um, if we work together, we can make change. And I think that's among the most important things because if we change, it's going to be for the benefit of the school, the students, and the community. So definitely, if Tom get involved and encourage them to vote for the Party. Hello, Kathleen Miner again with Open People's Party. Um, I would have, if I had five minutes to talk to the student party or to the student as a whole, um, I would have to say that getting involved in associate students with the 300 plus clubs that we have on campus, um, the boards and commissions, I think those are essential. Um, also, I would say that um, talking to them about increasing diversity on campus, how they can get involved um, with various outreach groups. Um, I also what would want to encourage talking to the students saying that you guys have a say that is the most important thing come to legislative council meetings um, and make sure your voice is heard thank you very much Kathleen Meyer for OPP hi Gabriella for our students party um, what I would say to the student body if I had five minutes um, I would just tell them that the students party has a lot of experience. We do have people working out there in all these um, committees and organizations here on campus um, saying that they too can get involved on campus and they too can make an impact by joining all these organizations that already, you know, Students Party um, 
have um, involved themselves in right now. So uh, basically, also like another thing would have to be um, the the awareness of you know um, the student the the educational um, fees and how they're increasing and we need to stop and we need to um, lobby and uh, work towards that. So thank you very much, students party. Pratish Patel, Students Party. Um, if I had five minutes with uh, the student body, I would definitely challenge each and every one of them to get involved. Um, there are so many opportunities here on campus, and I think that AS and Students Party can really bring that out. And um, we really, I encourage all of them and tell them everything that we have to offer here. And I mean, there is so much that we can do. Like, there's no limit to anything. Like, there's people here on Students Party Slate, there's so many people who are so passionate about what they do, and it's ridiculous because they're, they're not used. And I would encourage every single one of them to use their resources that we have to offer. <laughs> students Party. <clears throat> Daniel Plot can open people's party. I would remind them of three things. One, the same students party that sits before me today says that they want to affect students on this campus. It took time and resources to pass resolutions on Iraq and Oaxaca, Mexico. The second, I'd remind them about weekend parking. Instead of putting it to a vote for the students, they decided to vote on it in student council. When the Nexus asked one of the members of the students party, they answered to some sort of response like, if we put it to a vote, we lose our power in AS. Lastly, We've heard Students Party over and over again now talk about the Daily Nexus, admitting that they were wrong to try to freeze it, and yet they say that they were well-intentioned. I asked the students of this campus, do they want somebody that has good intentions or that is well-informed? Daniel Plock and Open People's Party. This question is directed to all of the candidates, and we'll start with Zach. How do you feel about UCSB's reputation as a party school? Do you feel it is a problem? And if so, what will you do to change it? I'm torn on this issue. I do feel that it is a bit of a problem that we are known as the university of casual sex and beer in some circles. It always hurts to have parents or friends of parents ask, oh, that's a party school, right? No, it's not, at least not the university I go to. It's one of the most prestigious schools in the University of California system and in America as a whole. I don't know that there is a simple solution rather than that we just do what we can as students to work hard and while we can play hard at the same time, we must just represent ourselves to our community, our state, and our country as best we can. Thank you. Vote Open People's Party and Zach Skegan. Hi, my name is Paula and I'm once again I'm running with Students Party and I actually faced this issue just the other day because I was trying to convince somebody from my old high school to come here and he was like, well, I'm really concerned about the party reputation. And what I said is that I belong to this Facebook group and I think it's representative of how I feel, the proud students of the most intelligent party school in the nation. And so there is this great social atmosphere here that is unrivaled by any other place. I mean that LA Times wrote about Isla Vista and how a unique community it is. And I think that that's something that we can definitely use to our advantage. And that I think that there are a lot of smart kids here who also know how to party well. So vote students party. Hi, I'm Cece Yui again, running with OPP. And as much as I love the party school aspect here and think it's great, it does, it does hinder our reputation. Me being a bio major, people question um, my intelligence and I mean UCLA looks down I don't know but I, I as well as am really proud to be a part of the most intelligent party school because we can party but we also study hard and we are really intelligent students and people don't sometimes don't give us this credit but maybe we just need to inform them better that we are smart so vote OPP <laughs> Again, Matt Weisner with Students Party, and uh, I agree that this is an issue that um, UC Santa Barbara is known as a party school, but I think our academics are unmatched, and I'm not sure if it's we're like the 14th best public school in the country, it's up there. Um, I think the major issue with the party reputation is safety. Um, as long as um, AS as an entity is working hard with uh, the IVFP and the CSOs to make this a safe campus and funding um, things that will make this a safer place to study because that is the purpose of the university. So I think that the party school reputation is okay, but um, as long as it's a safe place. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tennessee Vargas running for Students Party. Um, I don't think that um, the reputation the school has um, come across with the whole 
partying has really affected us because every year more and more students come and every year thousands of students graduate. So obviously um, we're being educated and it's only worked for the, for the best. And in addition, we have are known for being a great research school, so partying has not really affected our education. So I don't think it's really a huge, like, yeah, about students partying. <laughs> Hello, Kathleen Miner with Open People's Party. Um, I would have to disagree on some aspects that it has not hurt our reputation. Um, I have had, I going to the visitor center quite frequently, um, seeing the many tours I'm sure a lot of you guys have been seeing on campus right now. Um, a lot of parents um, have actually come up to many people and said that, um, you know, what What about partying? You know, has it become a problem for you? And I would have to say no, it hasn't because a lot of students put their education first and we are an intelligent group and I think that's something that needs to be emphasized. Um, and again, research, we are a research school. So um, basically just keep on stressing that. So Kathleen Meyer for Open Peoples, thank you. Hi, Gabriella for Students Party. Um, no, I don't think that having a, a party school reputation is bad at all. I think that um, as long as we continue to work hard with our academics and show that parents and show that other students from other campuses and just so, show each other that we are good with academics and that we um, are receiving our education here, that it's fine just to take a break and go and, you know, have fun with friends and go party. So um, yeah, let's enjoy UCSB and that's what we're here to do. Thanks. Students party. Uh, hi, Pratish Patel from Students Party. Um, I definitely think uh, the reputation is obvious. We are a party school. I mean, we definitely know how to party, let's not lie. Um, our academics are very rigorous, and I think that's something that we need to emphasize. And um, I think a solution, because I think that was the question, was um, something starting with our leaders. We need to, like, as a party from Students Party, I know that everyone on there is on the slate is academically very inquired. Or, yeah. Anyway, uh, vote Students Party, Patricia Patel. Daniel Plack and Open People's Party. Uh, I'd like to point out that Isla Vista, you cannot go anywhere else in this nation and find something like Isla Vista. It is square block after square block of off-campus student housing. You have the ability to walk home from anywhere in this area. So yes, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be an area that can function as a party school. We can't teach an old dog new tricks. I would also like to point out, however, that for the last six years at this school, we have had Nobel laureates go through here. Every single year for six years, now our test scores have been climbing. We are now comparable with Berkeley, with UCLA, with UCSD. We are not CSU Santa Barbara. We are UC Santa Barbara, and I think people understand we are a good school. And lastly, we represent the UCSB constituency. At least that is what I will be doing, so I cannot get rid of the par party reputation because we do party. Thank you. You, Dan Plock, both of you. Matt Sell Squirrel Party. I think that being known as one of the biggest party schools in the nation only helps the reputation more. It puts us on the map. Granted, it puts us on the map for parties. It still puts us on the map, and people will come to the school. And the fact that we can juggle academics, as I'm sure you heard all the other candidates saying, we have excellent academic ratings. We are one of the top schools in the nation, academically-wise, and to be known as one of the biggest party schools, too, I think is a pretty good accomplishment, considering we can juggle both at the same time. Partying is a good way to outlet from all the harsh studying that we've been doing during the week, and I think it's I think it's necessary. Folks out. This concludes the question answer portion of the forum. I will give each candidate 30 seconds for a closing statement, and we will start with Paula. Once again, I'm Paula, and I'm with Students Party. And for my conclusion, I just want to say that the, a lot of the issues that both parties have, or excuse me, all three parties have, are um, something that AS as a whole needs to address next year. And not only set goals, but we need to reach them. And so we need to set up a, a way to work together so that we can get these things done, so that we can make UCSB the best place that it can be for everybody. Thanks. Vote Students Party. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cece again. I'm running with OPP for Off Campus Rep. 
And I just want to say I answered the last question kind of wrong because I love partying here at Ivy and I also am smart. But anyways, I'm very open-minded and I'm here. I will listen to anything anyone has to say and if you care about it, I care about it. And um, if there are problems with AS next year, I want to know because I care about what the students think and if they have a problem with it, then I do too. So that's what I want to say and I want to be the liaison between the, I, the students in IV and AS, and I think I can do a really good job doing it. So vote for me. Hi again, Matthew Wiseman with Students Party. And one thing I want to say is that um, I think that AS needs to spend um, the students' money in a responsible manner, and that that's its, its one of its major roles, but also uh, that includes not spending it on things that don't really represent the student body. Um, there's a lot of diversity, and I think um, that communicating with students and telling them how we're spending their money, and also not spending on things that don't really benefit the greater student body is really important. Thank you. All right. Okay, so I'm running for a student's party. Um, um, I've, I'm just going to read what I wrote. Um, finally, I will work hard to make a difference in the habit community of Isla Vista, make it prosperous, affordable, and a safe community. I have a lot of potential and I'm very eager to work with you all for the benefit of our community. Keep in mind that as a UCSB student, your concerns are my concerns. So I think we should just work together for the prosperity of our community and our education. And so vote Teresa Vargas for Students Party Off Campus Rep. And remember, it's your choice, your voice. Tu voz, tu voz. Again, Kathleen Miner with Open People's Party. I would, as a closing statement, like to tell all of you here and all of you that are watching, going to be watching this later on, um, that I am very passionate about the need for diversity on campus um, because a diverse opinion allows for better solutions. Um, also, the student money, financial accountability, student money that all of us have put forth to go for AS is something, it's a great resource student initiative. Since it did pass, we need to have financial accountability and make sure that the money that students entrusted actually goes for the students. Thank you very much, Kathleen Miner for Open People's Party. Hi, Gabriella for Students Party. Um, what would I like to say? Well, um, I'm very passionate as a leader. Um, I want to be uh, be there for you students next year to make your guys' voice heard at Ledge Council, um, to make sure that um, things such as um, the affordability for education and the affordability for housing, which do affect you students um, for the four years that you're going to be here at um, UCSB, um, I want to address those um, issues. And so I think those are very important. And I'm going to be working very hard next year if you do elect. Um, um, so, bonus students party and um, go UCSB. Hi, Pratish Patel, uh, students party. Um, I just want to end by saying that um, the major things that we want to see go on next year are definitely bringing this community together because we are not just a university, we're a community. And I think that the major thing that we can have that we have to offer is making a coalition between all the organizations on campus. Diversity is a key, key problem here on campus, and we definitely need to bring that to uh, up and make sure that it gets dealt with. So, vote Students Party, vote Pratish Patel. Daniel Plotkin, Open People's Party. Wow, third, thirty second conclusion. Wow, I feel like I'm on a pardon the interruption on ESPN or something like that. But um, I'm not going to talk to you about sports, although I do love sports. I uh, love to take care of my studies. I love to party. I love the beach. I love being athletic. I feel like I am the average ECSB student, which makes me love this campus, love this community, and love the people that I'm trying to represent. So I urge each and every one of you, come out and vote. I'm not going to tell you to vote Students Party. I'm not going to tell you to op vote OPP. I just want you to vote informed. Just like I feel like I will be an informed representative, I want you to come out to the Arbor in the next week and a half. Talk to both parties. Vote with your heart. Thank you. Daniel Plock and Open People's Party. Matt Sell, School Party. Let's, um, we already have our academics covered. We already have that in our school. Let's worry about the other aspect of life. Let's worry about having fun. Let's worry about getting involved. 
Getting involved and having just a giant party. Everybody should be having fun on this campus. Whether it be getting involved with different organizations, whether it be whatever you want to do. As long as you're having fun and getting your schoolwork done, that's the biggest thing you should be worrying about right now. As long as you get your schoolwork done, have a blast. Vote Cell and vote Squirrel. Let's have a great year. Zach Skeegan with the Open People's Party running for off-campus representative. I just want to thank everyone for their time and say that I will represent you if you elect me. Even if I don't agree with the sentiments of the opinions expressed by my constituency, as a representative of the students, it is not my job to push my personal agenda. It's my job to work for you. If you want something, talk to me. I may not agree with you, but if you ask me, I will do what I can to help you. Vote OPP if you want. I hope you choose that, but it's your choice. Thank you. I'd like to thank all of the candidates in the audience for coming out today. We will resume with the presidential debate Tuesday, April 17th in this room from 12 to 1 p.m. And from 1 to 2, we will have a forum for the university-owned housing rep. Thank you, and I hope to see you then. So, uh, wrong, wrong for the PTI joke.